Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how you can adjust the boundary spacing controls in the Structure Grid Solver. So if I select this domain and go to Grid, Solve, and go to the Edge Attributes tab, you'll notice that all of the edges in the domain are highlighted in white, and I can adjust each of their spacing controls. Now, the spacing refers to the distance between a grid point on the boundary and the first layer of grid points off of that boundary. And that spacing can be computed using four different methods. The first is interpolate. The way interpolate works, if I select this bottom edge, is it looks at the spacing at the begin and the end, and it linearly interpolates between the two to figure out what the spacing value should be at every grid point along that edge. Current grid will use the current spacing value. Adjacent grid will actually copy the spacing from an adjacent grid that's been loaded into the structured grid solver and use those values. And then user specified, as its name suggests, allows the user to type in a value of spacing to satisfy. Blending simply refers to how those spacing constraints are blended to the interior of that mesh and can be changed from a default exponential, where it's an exponential decay into the interior, to linear, to a custom exponential. So I'm going to type in a value of 0.1 for the spacing and run the solver and zoom in and you'll notice that that value, that spacing constraint has been satisfied at this first grid point and then blended to the interior of the domain. All right, I'm going to load up a second example. You notice I have two domains. The bottom domain has some clustering at the interface. So I'm going to grab both of them, go grid solve, go to edge attributes, and I'm going to select the bottom edge of the top domain and that's denoted by the normals pointing into that domain and I'm going to change its spacing method to adjacent grid and what that will do is it will use the spacing constraint in the lower domain as influence for the upper domain. So I'll click solve and run and you'll notice that it pulls those grid lines down to achieve the same spacing value as in the adjacent grid that we brought into the structured solver at the same time. So those are the spacing controls in the Structured Grid Solver. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.